Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of City Skyline After Dark with me, Biffa. Just standing at the top here, getting a nice little overview of my city. See how things are going, how they're growing. Nice tall buildings coming up there. Nice tall buildings coming up there as well. Industry areas doing okay. Still need to do a little bit of work on it though. We need to try and sort out the traffic problems that we have. And I've had some suggestions for that as well. Thank you guys as well for all the suggestions you've been giving me. As always, very, very helpful. We're going to try and put some of them into practice to, re to try and solve this issue here that we have. Um, keep the comments coming. And also, thank you for the likes and the support you've been showing on these videos as well. I'm doing my best to try and get them out daily. At the minute, they seem to be every other day. Because... As you see, the montages and things that you like in these videos, they take extra time. It's not just a case of sitting down and recording straight for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It, they do take longer. So if I get the time, I try and do them daily if I can. Otherwise, they're yeah, maybe every other day, something like that. So let's see if we can solve this traffic problem here first. Let us pause the game. Now, somebody suggested... Removing this connection here and having it sort of come up this way. That could be good, but also maybe what we could do, just thinking about it, is someone else suggested doing a T-junction uh, and having slip roads off for coming left and right, which may work, may sort of keep things moving. And then also the suggestion was made is I've got everybody coming in and out in the same little bit here, so it means that... These, they're stopping. Every single one, they're stopping, they're stopping. Is there traffic lights here? Or is it just, yeah, traffic lights, every single one. Um, and I've done this before, and having an up and down sort of thing. So, have it one way, one way, one way, that sort of thing, with connections at either end. That could work out better, although we do have the roads are slightly longer. Uh, we could maybe test it out on this side, as the roads are all the same size, and then we'll do a bit of fiddling around over here. Um, also this episode as well, I'd like to set up an industrial hub of some sort. We have, if we go into here, downloaded some new assets, some containers and things. And we have, obviously, containers that we can add. We have the different sort of cargo hubs and things like that we can add. I'd like to take a look at that. Hopefully we get time. These have all been added to my um, assets list, which you can see in the description below. Let me just have a quick sip of tea. Um, so you can check those out for yourself. Um, yeah, any assets or different things that I have. We've used quite a few of them over here, haven't we, with the buildings and things. With these. Um, so, yeah, uh, the canals, that's what I was thinking of. So you can go and check those out. Don't, allow, don't download the entire pack altogether, and you can try those out. So, let's just have a little play here. I'm wondering whether we could just try... Let's try a T-junction. Let's, let's just remove... All of this roundabout for now. What size rows did we have here? Six lane, two way. I believe that is that one. Uh, nope, it is not that one because that's got the little thing in the middle. It must be this one. Oh, I never can blimmin tell which one it is. It must be one of these. Three lane each way. Maybe it's this one. No, that's tiny. I feel a bit... Ah, here we go. No. <laughs> well, it is this one, but it's not uh, It's not that one with the green grass. There we go. Got it in the end. Good. So now we can connect up. This is highway. So the highway can just connect as it is. That should be okay. That's this one here. So let's get a nice sort of curve going on. Yeah, that can just do that. Let's see if we can curve that round a bit. That can go there. And then we'll turn that round. There we go. And then let's just unpause the game. Get all those cars despawning. Are they going to join the road again? And then maybe... And having a slip road coming off of here... I and mean, we can sort of see how that goes. And then having these connecting at the end, I think, might be a better idea. Rather than right in the middle there. So let's give that a go. Uh, can we curve that round a bit? Let's delete that. Let's 
So we'll join that up to there, perhaps, instead of coming in the middle. I think that might be a better idea. Let's move that along here. We'll delete a bit of that. And we'll delete a bit more of that, actually. I want that to connect to there. No, not going to let me. Oh, nearly deleted. That was close. Let's move that along a bit. There we go. And just see how that goes. Let's have that connect to that one. Probably don't need as much of that there. We could always connect those together, couldn't we? Maybe let's see how that goes for getting in and out. And I'll tell you what I'm probably going to do is just make a little cut here and set up one-way roads going up and down here and just sort of see how that looks. And we'll test that out. So let me do that and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is what I've done here. We've got these going down and up, down and up and all that sort of thing. Just checking on my rows that I've got coming in and out. We'll worry about this section in a minute. We've got, they're able to leave and come out that way. What I would like them to be able to do is to come in... Ah, yes, I've just noticed. These are the wrong way round, aren't they? I need to redo these. Move them all along one, that's fine. And then the other ones, the ones going in, I want to connect from here so people can come in if they want to so hmm, yes let me just do that Well, there we go. That works out well. So we've got now people are able to come in from this direction and go in. And they can come out from that direction and leave. Um, so I think that will help. That's very good. I like that. Just need to make sure our power is still connected. There we go. Is that the only one? Yep, that's it. So that should be good. That will help with this section. Now this section over here... I'm wondering whether we need to try now and do the same with that. Yes, let me work on that bit. Right, so that is that side done as well. Let's take a look at the, the one-way arrows. We've got up and down, up and down, all the way along here, which is working out well. Um, I may need to make... No, I don't want to make these necessarily one way. That's doing fine. And I've got my ins and outs going along here as well, although I've missed... There we go. Just noticed that. Let's make that... There we go connect on there that was interesting because we have all these subway tunnels and things as well but just about managed to do that why are these guys running out of power oh okay because some houses here have decided to give up and go there we go let's add the power back in good so now i need to sort of look at this little section here and see what we can do about that i'm thinking maybe some slip roads one from here let's just have a look at the minute they're still sort of stopping here and queuing 
Maybe a slip road from here coming off and one over there. I might just leave this running for a while and just see how that helps. Maybe people start coming in at different places. Uh, queuing, queuing to come out and causing problems. Hmm. We shall see how this goes. And it's always this side that's more filled up than this side. Yeah, let's see how this goes a bit. Maybe the traffic problem is just going to move elsewhere. Okay, right, something else that I would like to work on. We have a railway line down here, which is good. I would really like to add the ability for cargo trains to come in and out. And I'm thinking of using this little spot here. That's a nice little area to do so. We could easily add some rails coming up here, branched off of here, and add, so let's have a look, add these in. Let's just take a look at our cargo Train, I bet it's this one here, I don't have enough money. Cargo train terminal costs 60000 Okay, so we need to be saving up because I wanted to run a couple of those. Maybe I will actually get a, a loan, perhaps? Um, what's that going to give us? 20000 60000 200000 It's going to cost us 442 a week. And we're making 500 and... Yeah, maybe I'll just wait as we're actually making the money. We could just put um, some roads down here, although we probably am going to need, we've got these connections here, so we could work off of those, couldn't we? Which way round could we have this run in? Maybe this way? Let's have a look, let me lay out some roads, just see if we can get a feel for this area a bit. Well let's start off with something like this, having a couple of cargo terminals in here, hopefully that will be okay. And we've got it connected coming off this roundabout. We can always add another road coming in here, in here if we need to. And then I'm going to just take a look at some of these. So how these work is, you have a couple of end caps. And I believe, yeah, you can just literally add those in here. Let's start with this end cap here. Put that right up against there. There we go. Got some nice cargo terminal looking trailer park things there, which is nice. And then we can run down here. Let's have lot A. Uh, lot B and a lot. How much are these costing me, by the way? 10,000 each. And then lot C. And then we can go with this end cap. Is that the right one? Yeah, there we go. So we get a nice. Let's continue that road a little bit further just to make that look like it's. it should be there. There we go. Perfect. And that gives you some nice... Excellent. Do they give us any benefits? Entertainment radius? They do. They have llamas as well. Brilliant. What do they cost? 16000 a week. Well, that's going to cost us quite a bit, isn't it? And I like that. We could add those. We could add those on either side. Really start making this look like a decent container yard. Let's go for that. Let's maybe do these in a different order this time. And we've run out of money. Darn it. I really, really need to start making a lot more money, don't I, <laughs> for these things. And I'm wondering whether I could possibly fit some in there as well. Maybe not here. We could definitely lengthen our road a bit. I think it was to about there. Okay, I think I'm going to just run this for a bit, save up some money, and then we can get this looking a lot more finished.
Okay, so here we go with our new industrial area at the moment. Let's just take a close look at what we've got going on in here. So we've added some things to really try and make it look a lot more industrial. We have, let's just click on this so we can see some of the asset names. The large concrete tank holding who knows what. Uh, lots of trees placed around here because even though it is an industrial area, we still want to try and make it look nice. You know, we've got a feel for the people that work here. What is going on? Are people changing lanes? I'll look at my lanes in a bit. Um, we also have a lot of these little industrial assets that we have here, which is one of the mods, gives you access to these. I just used the randomizer one here, just let it randomly give us ones that we could sort of plop down, as if people were just coming along and dumping their stuff wherever they found some space. We've got a little gap over here as well. Also with the train lines, I've decided to make those go down underneath as we can see there and connect up over this way and then some of these I've made sort of connect up oh is Alcatraz not getting mm -hmm. that is suddenly not connected there let's connect that back up there again there we go it's because the houses here have disappeared this is not a nice place to live people have moved on all we have is the busy corner shop who knows who travels all over there anyway yeah, some of my train lines coming out the back here, they were a dead end, but the trains didn't seem to be going in and then reversing out. They would just disappear. So this train line, I've looped it round and it pops up over here, it connects over there so people can come in from both directions. And then the other one, I popped it up, it goes down this way and pops up over here and connects there. So hopefully that helps a little bit. I'm trying to sort of do the best I can to get those got a flashing red light on the top I've never seen before, so it has. Trying my best to get those connected in different places. And this is working really well. Traffic is coming and going. There we go. Our cargo terminals, which is nice. The trains are coming and going as well. Our money is not too bad. 11,000. I did take a loan out. So we're losing 442,000 a week as well. So that's fine. But we're still gaining people. We're up to 80,000. Pretty sure there's no more of these we can hit. No, we're up to the highest that we can reach. I was just wondering whether... Hmm. Let's have a look. Also, we're not getting as many of these messages now. Not enough buyers for products. And they're not enough products, messages, and that sort of thing. So, that is working out well. I may add another couple of these in. I was just thinking here. Maybe sort of offer an angle on this side. And try and really get this going. Traffic now is becoming a bit of an issue again. So instead of my traffic problem being up here. It's now moved to down here. <laughs> Which always seems to be the way with this game. You sort the problem in one area. And it switches to somewhere else. Which is always fun. These guys are all changing lanes to do different things. Yeah we'll leave that for now. I'll, I'll see how that runs for a bit. We've, had, we've just had this added. So... Uh, yes, we'll see how that runs. But uh, if you have a good name that you can give me for this area, let me know. We need to set this up as a district. Let's pick the large brush. We can paint all this in. And then what I'm probably going to do as well is to try and encourage business to come over here. Coleridge Heights, yeah, we want to change that. Um, is have a industrial space planning... And what's the other one we normally add over here? No, not that one. I think it's just industrial space planning. Just to help the industry yeah, start coming over here. I don't think there's an industry one of these. No, there isn't. Uh, tax relief. Nope, we'll do that. We'll leave that as the one. There we go. Hopefully that will encourage some more businesses to move in. Oh, let's have a look. Spotting a gap up here. Let's fill that in. There we go, that's looking nice. I like the way that's turned out, that area, very nice. And with the extra assets as well, I think that's really helped. Right, we're going to wrap that episode up there. If you've got any uh, advice, again, about the traffic hoping that would have solved it it sort of has and it's moved it let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what you think of this new industrial area as well i'm really liking the way it's shaping up 
And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. And if you're new, please consider subscribing as well. You can see on the screen lots of the other videos that I do. Maybe take a look at my channel if you like what I see. Then you can subscribe to see more. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time in the next episode of City Skylines. Take care. Bye-bye.